If you have a Samsung phone and are in the market for a smartwatch, your first thought may be the Galaxy Watch. Well, I just came across a unique smartwatch that I think you're going to want to see. Hi, my name is Cody Lopez with Texaland News, and today we're going to show you a comparison with the Galaxy Watch versus the Tick Watch Pro. Let's get started. Okay, I'll admit I didn't know too much about the Tick Watch before the company contacted me a couple of weeks ago, so I figured I would stack it up against one of the most popular smartwatches in the market. Sure, they provided me the smartwatch, but they are not sponsoring this video, and all of the opinions are my own. First, let's compare the designs. After a couple of years of the same design, you may be pretty much familiar with the Samsung smartwatch hardware. The circular AMOLED displays with the patented rotating bezel have become synonymous with the company's watches. This time around, Samsung gave their 46mm watch a two-tone design with a black on the bezel, on the buttons, and on the bottom, with polished stainless steel sandwiched in between. I'm not really sure how I feel about this. I usually prefer watches to be all one color. Honestly, Samsung does make an all-black Galaxy watch, but it's only in a 42mm size, which means smaller screen and battery. Speaking of the screen and battery, the Galaxy watch has a 1.3-inch screen with a 360 by 360 resolution and a 472 milliamp hour battery. Meanwhile, the Tick Watch Pro has a 415 milliamp hour battery with a bigger 1.4 inch screen and a higher resolution at 400 by 400. But what makes this watch unique is its layer display. By combining a AMOLED display with a LCD display on top, the Tick Watch offers an always on display that conserves battery and is easy to read in direct sunlight. This 45mm smartwatch is a little thicker than the Galaxy Watch, but I prefer the all black color option with its metal crown, buttons, and bottom. There is some plastic sandwich in between, but it doesn't take away from its high-end aesthetic. The watch band has leather stitching, which only adds to the high-end look, although it's only on the top. This was a little off-putting at first, but after some time, I kind of like the business in the front, party in the back approach. Plus, if it really isn't your cup of tea, you can always swap out the watch bands. Both of these watches can change bands easily, and both watches also have NFC for mobile payments. In terms of design, I'm going to have to go with the Tick Watch Pro because it's a little more classy in my opinion, but in terms of durability, you have to go with the Galaxy Watch. Because of its military standard durability rating, plus it can withstand high levels of pressure when submerged underwater. While the Tick Watch Pro does have a IP68 rating for dust and water resistance, the company doesn't recommend you going swimming with the watch on. Alright, next we have to talk about the software. Both watches are running two different operating systems. The Tick Watch Pro is running Wear OS, formerly known as Android Wear. Now Wear OS is a stripped down version of Android optimized for the wrist. It has a lot of cool gesture controls and tons of apps that play nice with your smartwatch. The Google Assistant and Notification System are integrated nicely and work well with any Android phone. Now the Galaxy Watch, on the other hand, is running Samsung's Tizen OS. And even though technically Tizen is older than Wear OS, it still feels like a work in progress to me. It lacks far behind in third-party app support. However, if you are using Samsung's default apps, they are optimized a little better and can result in superior battery life. The Galaxy Watch comes with Bixby Voice Assistant, which isn't very good in my opinion. Both software experience have their ups and downs, but Tizen works best if you are using a Samsung phone with Samsung apps. But if you keep your options open between different smartphones, then Wear OS might be the best option for you. Now as for the battery life, this is where things get a little interesting. The Galaxy Watch technically has a bigger battery than the Tick Watch Pro, but I have been getting longer usage out of the Tick Watch. Samsung claims 80 hours with normal usage, but I'm seeing more around two and a half days, which is decent for a smartwatch, but the Tick Watch Pro is getting almost four days. This is mostly in the hybrid mode with the LCD display always on when the watch is idle. The Tick Watch even has an essential mode where you can get up to 30 days with only the LCD display active, but you lose a lot of the smartwatch functions, which is kind of the whole point of these watches. I think it goes without saying, but battery life really varies with each individual's usage. Are you tracking your fitness? Are you scrolling through screens often? And how many times are you glancing at your wrist? I'm getting some of the best battery life with the Tick Watch Pro. While both of these watches are incredibly capable devices with a ton of features, there's a price difference you can't help but notice. As it stands, the Galaxy Watch is $350, while the Tick Watch Pro is $100 less. 
Both watches seem to go on sale regularly, but the price difference always remains. Be sure to check out the link in the video description with the most updated prices. So if it were my money, I'm going to have to go with the TicWatch Pro because of its style, software, battery life, and because it fits my overall smartwatch usage. That doesn't make the Galaxy Watch any less impressive, but the best bang for your buck has to be the TicWatch Pro, and it's easily a smartwatch that I can recommend. For more smartwatch coverage, visit our website at techcellentnews.com, follow our social media for excellent technology news daily, and be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Once again, I'm Cody Lopez with Techcellent News, and I will see you all in our next video. Thank <music> you.